Well, the math was quite simple entering Monday's game against the Nashville Predators. There was two games to go, four points on the line. The Calgary Flames need all of them to push the Winnipeg Jets and keep their season alive as we welcome you to Game Over, brought to you by McDonald's. Brendan Parker alongside Corey Sarich. They pushed, and uh, they made a real game of it in what felt like a Game 7 here tonight against Nashville, but in the end they fall one goal short, and it comes in the shootout. So what did you make of tonight, Corey, and just the way that it all unfolds? Well, the Flames didn't get off to the start that they wanted, but they were resilient, and they just continued to get better and better as this game went on, and they slowly started to take the game over in the second period. They came and erased two one-goal deficits and then pushed this thing right to the very limit. And that third period was exciting. Overtime was exciting. This game had it all tonight. Yeah, it sure did. And uh, it also had a bad bounce. And uh, that one goes off the skate of the official Kelly Sutherland back into the crease and eventually goes into the back of the net. And that was the 2-1 goal. But as uh, you pointed out, uh, the Flames resilient. They score that from Michael Backlund to get it to the extra frame. And then in the shootout just needed one more goal, and uh, Jonathan Huberto gave you one, but uh, both goaltenders were sharp at both ends, and it's uh, one goal that makes the difference in the fourth round. Yeah, got the start to this shootout that they wanted. They yeah. almost had it. Markstrom almost closed the door right here and takes the, takes the extra point for the Flames. Cody Glass scores it, and then it would be Tommy Novak in the fourth round on his stick for the win, and uh, that's the difference, a shootout. 17th, that's the NHL leading 17th overtime or shootout loss for the Calgary Flames this season. They talked about, you know, maybe flip a couple of those and it's a different conversation here this, uh, the rest of the season and in a different spot come the playoff picture. Uh, overtime, you mentioned the excitement and uh, maybe that was part of it in the third period, the push and then in the overtime frame to maybe try and end this before it got to the shootout. What'd you make of it? Yeah, it was wide open the last five minutes in the third period. The Flames were pushing, they had traffic, they were shooting everything and we see a couple of Great chances for the Calgary Flames here. Mackenzie Weger had two. Rasmus Anderson yawning cage. Can't quite finish. Tyson Berry gets his stick in there. And then it comes right to Toffoli, who gets a great A chance. And he hasn't missed from that spot very many times this year. So again, a little bit of a little run of bad luck there and all those chances for the Flames in overtime. Yeah, unfortunately it was uh, Saros that makes 43 saves. He was a huge difference in this hockey game for the Nashville Predators. And officially now the Calgary Flames have been eliminated from Stanley Cup playoff contention here. The Winnipeg Jets still hold on to that final spot and the Nashville Predators are still alive with two games left to go. Both of those are on home ice. As for the Flames, one game, game 82. Wednesday night, San Jose Sharks are in town to close out the regular season.